Okay, so if you want to do the Lewis structure, first step, valence electrons. Calculate that out. Carbon's in column four. Hydrogen is in column one. And oxygen, there's two of them in column six. And this minus charge means there's one more electron. You just have to add in that minus charge right there. Plus one. So that causes us to have 12 plus the number 4, 16, 17, 18. Okay, now you draw your skeleton. And this one might be kind of hard. Carbon, I'll give you a couple tips. Carbon is always going to be in the center. Except for maybe carbon monoxide. Carbon's always going to be on the inside. Oxygen can be on the inside or the outside. Another one that's always going to be on the outside is hydrogen. Hydrogen will always be on the outside. Um, but here the trouble is, so I know carbon has to be in the middle. It's not going to give a good Lewis structure if I don't do it that way. Oxygen can be on the outside, but the problem is, am I going to put the hydrogen on this one or on this one? Okay, so I'll just try both. Here I'll put it right there, and here I'll put it right here. With two possible skeletons. So now let me fill in the blanks. Two, four, six. I'll do the one on the left first. Two, four, six. So I've used six of 18, and I've drawn the bonds in between each atom. Single bonds only. Now uh, I'm going to start filling out my terminal atoms. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Hydrogen doesn't have any lone pair electrons. These are lone pairs. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. On the other oxygen, I like to do, oxygens are nice to do first. And then uh, 18. Now, does, you ask yourself, does anything not have an octet? Okay. Carbon. The carbon doesn't. Oxygens do. They're just fine. Well, now... Uh, let's pick an oxygen. So what I want to do when this doesn't have octet, I go to one of the neighbors, I remove one of the lone pairs, and make a double bond. So which one do you want to go to, the right or left? Right. Okay, sure. Doesn't matter. <coughs> now does everything have an octet? Okay, let's check our formal charges. What's a formal charge here? So oxygen is in column six. And my method is to go one, count the points of intersection, or the things that are touching it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Column six, six things touching it, it's zero. Let's try this oxygen. It's in column six. One, two, three, four, five, six things touching it, also zero. Hydrogen, it only needs one thing, only one bond, and it's happy. It doesn't have an octet, it has a two tet, so it's zero. This one. It's in negative yeah, this is in column four. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's one extra electronic thing touching it. Ah, negative charge. Uh, so, notice that the sum of the formal charges equals the overall charge. That's always going to be true. So, the sum of the formal charge is negative one, overall charge is negative one there. What do we think of that Lewis structure? It's pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. There's no way everything would have formal charge of zero because I have an overall negative charge. But plus one and minus one, those are pretty good. Did you have a question? Yeah, what do we, so since the, we told us the overall charge should be the same as the... Um, the sum of the, yeah. each individual so did formal did we even charge. need to count all those or can we just go straight? Well, I had to, we did have to check okay. because I didn't know where the negative was. Oh, you had to forget where it was. Yeah. Let's just take a look. If uh, so, I have this. Um, I had that originally. Let's just for funsies. Let's say I did that. I took it from the left hand side, and the reason it could be different is this molecule, in contrast to what you see in classifier, is not symmetric. So taking it from the right or the left is a different thing. Okay, what's the formal charge on this one? Plus 
one? So, yeah, it should be 6, but you count 7. 7. So it's 1 extra than what we want. Negative. Is that okay? 7. Uh, how about this one here? 5. 5, yeah. It should be 6, but it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 1 less. How about this one? <coughs> it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It should be 4. It's 1 extra from what it should be. So it gets you the same. What's that? It gets you the same charge. Same charge for the center one, different one for the outside. <coughs> Which one do we like better? Which one? The bottom one. Yeah. yeah, why is that? There are more zero formal charges. But actually, this one's not too bad. Not bad. But this one has more zero formal charges. Okay. Let's pretend we tried this one, though. See how this has a different skeleton? Oh, did you have a question first? Yeah. yeah. In, in class, you said that a charge of uh, plus or minus two or more was really bad. Is that yes. overall charge, or if any one in Any one particular one. Okay. So, good charges for formal charge are zero, plus one, minus one. Anything outside of that is bad. Okay. Zero is the best. If you get more zeros, the better. Yeah. Doesn't the overall charge in the top one cancel out to be negative one? Or yes, so we're not sure which is what we want. Okay, so why, like, I, I'm kind of confused as to which one's better if they're both negative one at the end. No, the, if the more zero formal charges there are, the better. So this has three zero formal charges, this one only has one.